Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. Please subscribe down below and like this video if you enjoyed it. Today we're doing an updated, our favorite skincare products because we haven't done this in a while. Mm -hmm. And if you're new here, we love like luxury makeup, but we tend to buy like really affordable skincare. Yeah. So if affordable skincare interests you, keep on watching. And as our skin type goes, because mm -hmm. I think that'll be helpful, we overall, I would say, have dry skin. In the summer, it's more combo, mm -hmm. but definitely in the winter, it's pretty dry, um, and we're about to be 32, so we yeah. also have, like, like fine aging. lines. Yeah, yeah. Like aging and dryness. I will say I used to be way more combo, but then in the past, like, year, my forehead used to get really oily, and it doesn't do that anymore. The only part of my face that's oily is my eyelids. Yeah, so, I think in the summer yeah. mine definitely gets oily. Mm -hmm. It's more so like right now that it does not. Yeah. Okay, so I have to say, overall, my favorite skincare brand is Vanna Cream, which too. is so boring. Should we talk about all of Vanna Cream? Yeah, stuff? I guess we can do that. Uh, it's I so don't boring. have that, and I need to repurchase it. I need to repurchase the um, face wash, mm -hmm. too. But it is our favorite, and so no shame in that game. Hopefully, they sponsor us someday. I know. <laughs> so. Our like all time favorite daytime moisturizer, mm -hmm. I would say, is the Vanna Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid and Ceramides. This is three ounces, so two blasts a while. The ingredient list is pretty short. It's mm -hmm. fragrance free. I can't say enough good things. It's like a gel cream texture, yeah. I would say. So it's pretty lightweight on the skin, which is why I think it's good for AM. Yeah, and I think it's better for summertime. If you have super dry skin, this might, and you live in like a cold climate, this might not be enough for you. Because when I took it to Boston, um, I wasn't prepared for how cold the weather is mm -hmm. there. And my skin was like flaking off. And I only brought this moisturizer because it's like our tried and true. Yeah. And I needed to go out and buy something else while I was there. Cause I just was like, oh my God, my skin is going crazy. But in California, this is like perfect. Yeah, in California it works well. And even if you have oily around. skin, I think you would like this mm -hmm. a lot. Oh, if you have oily skin, I think you'd really like it. Yeah. And then, yeah, cause is it oil free? I know that's what people I feel like look I for. I think with. so. You don't see any oils on the ingredient list. Mm -hmm. um, and then they also released the Vanna Cream Facial Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I put this in our Best of Beauty because this really surprised me. Yeah, so it's I love basically it. this with zinc added. So it has 19.5% zinc oxide. It's a mineral sunscreen. And so it does make it quite thick. And it's more emollient than this. So yeah. I think better for dry skin versus oily. Yeah, this is definitely better for dry skin. This is always like... I feel like my go-to more so in like the winter yeah. it works because I have drier skin in the winter and the white cast is pretty minimal on this surprisingly and it's the only two-in-one sunscreen moisturizer I've ever found to actually be that. Yeah. Like, I feel like most of the time when a moisturizer has SPF it's like it doesn't have enough SPF in it or it doesn't moisturize enough so yeah. you still have to add more moisturizer. This moisturizes enough and like if you put on enough product it will protect your skin so i can't say enough good things about it if you need a two-in-one this is it mm -hmm. and it's so affordable okay and last but not least for vanna cream is this is like brand new we yeah. both have only been using it for a few weeks but i've noticed such a difference we had to include i am it. delighted it's the vanna cream vitamin c serum it says with ceramides um and then on the back it says it is formulated for those who need or want to avoid common chemical irritants found in ordinary skincare products, designed for sensitive skin. This formula contains a potent yet yeah, gentle vitamin C derivative. It's milky and lightweight, absorbs easily, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we both bought this immediately when we saw that it has, we always say this wrong, but tex, tetrahexyl dust desyl ascorbate which is our favorite form of vitamin c for our skin yeah it's the oil soluble um version and it's also a derivative so it's very gentle mm -hmm. and normal vitamin c like l ascorbic acid like the main ones really irritates my skin like i can't even use most vitamin c products well it's also more stable yeah it's more stable yeah but it's oil soluble so you can like put it in a lot of different bases that you couldn't do with the water soluble um, vitamin C. So I feel like it's been used in a ton of products in the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. Like the Herbivore Nova serum, which we do love. That was our favorite vitamin yeah. C serum until we started using this. Yeah. That also uses the active. Yeah. But I think this is like the first product on the mass market to have it. Yeah. Like a drugstore product. So we were really excited when we saw this, immediately ordered it. And I've noticed such a difference. My under eyes 
have been so dark and puffy since we stopped using that Nova serum and I just mm -hmm. didn't want to spend the money so I didn't repurchase it and then I every day I'd be like but I look so tired I look so tired and I've literally used this for two weeks in my under eyes I like don't even have to use corrector if mm -hmm. I don't need to like it's lightened up my under eyes I swear it's helped with the puffiness and it's even my skin tone I haven't worn I don't have foundation on yeah, I just I have concealer on today the main thing is that it's even my skin so much yeah I've had a lot of skin issues this year and last year and I felt like I have this like redness that was living on my cheeks and I didn't know why like not rosacea but it was like this weird redness and this made it go away like now my skin is super even yeah i love it and it's very lightweight it's kind of similar to this like a gel cream serum. i think it's exactly what they said how it has like a milky lightweight it's milky milky lightweight texture yeah i was gonna say it's kind of like this but even lighter weight it's like a very lightweight serum but it is a milky serum it's yeah. not something that's like transparent yeah it's mm -hmm. and it's yeah it's so lightweight that it's so easy to layer things on top which i think mm -hmm. is another reason I love it because I find that when you find a vitamin C you love and it works well. If other products don't layer on top of it, then you're just sort of like, you can't like finish your routine. That's happened yeah. to me before too. So I can't say enough good things. It's amazing. This. It's like, I think it's going to be like my favorite product of the year. Yeah, the year. I know. And one thing I wanted to mention, they always put non-comedogenic on their packaging, but all their products that I've tried have been non-comedogenic, yeah. um, like against the list that we usually check for acne mm -hmm. and, or known like comedogenic yeah. ingredients, which again, it's not one size fits all when it comes to that, but there are just some things we like steer clear from. And I feel like Vanna Cream formulates without those things yeah. generally. And then one quick shout out to the Vanna Cream Gentle Face facial cleanser i don't have it because we tend to get a lot of cleansers and pr so yeah. i feel like i'm always using new cleansers but i love that cleanser and will repurchase when i need one also quick note i have it in my travel bag because they released it in the three the cleanser three ounce mm -hmm. size yeah. so in this oh, i do have it in my travel bag yeah. yeah in this tube um so just a little known tip buy that for traveling because it's like the perfect size for traveling and the this tube is so nice it never opens up um, it's really nice. Okay, next up I have two products from Verst. Uh, one is the Verst Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. So usually I'll use the Vanna Cream during the day and then the Rich Moisture Cream at night. And these are definitely my most two repurchased moisturizers. I feel like I just bought this and I'm like already almost out I know, out I go it. through it so fast. Yeah, I go through it really quickly, but it is just so good. I've tried other ones and there are some others that I like and have repurchased too. But this is my favorite from PM for a couple of reasons. Firstly, um, because it isn't too rich. Sometimes I feel like PM moisturizers can be too rich, too occlusive, and they can cause me to break out or like cause further irritation. Whereas this one is kind of like medium bodied, I would say. Like they say it's rich, but in my opinion, it's like a typical cream, like a cream formulation um, where a little goes a long way. It does moisturize the skin, but it's not too heavy. So I really like that. I like that it's fragrance free. The price point is great. I just go through it so quick, so I wish I didn't do that. Um, but it's just a really, really good formula, mm -hmm. and it is kind of like a luxury formula for the drugstore, I would say. Yeah. Like something pretty unique. Okay, and next up is the first Smooth Landing Advanced Retinoid Eye Balm. I also love the first. What was the hyaluronic acid serum? I'll look oh, that yeah, down below too one. because I didn't repurchase it because I repurchased something else we're going to talk about. But then I was like, oh, I really need to repurchase that. So mm -hmm. I don't have it here, but I'll link it below. Um, this is so good. The only thing that would make this better oops, is if it had vitamin C in it. I've thought about that a million but times. But it has retinol. I know, but if it um, had both. Or they should do an AM version with vitamin yeah, C. Yeah, because I love this texture. It really is a bomb. Yeah. Um, And you just sort of like dip your finger in and it picks up like the perfect amount of product and put it underneath. And it's such a good like occlusive nighttime product. Yeah. And I really have noticed a difference in like fine lines yeah. when using this consistently. You do have to use it consistently um, to notice a difference. But I love it so much and I just kept thinking because it really is so occlusive and it stays where you put it, I just felt like if it had vitamin C, like it would do such a number on dark circles, like it would do such a good job. Yeah, I realized I had to stop using a lot of eye creams 
because they are really irritating in my eyes. So I really try to not get anything past like my orbital bone or I'll go like as low as I can while mm -hmm. still putting it down there. But this one, even I still can't get super close to my eye, but it doesn't really irritate my eyes as much as some of the other ones I was using with actives like retinol and vitamin C. And maybe it is because it's a retinoid. So I think it's a little bit gentler if I'm not yeah. mistaken. So that could be why, but I also just love this packaging. Okay, next up is Naturium. We've tried a lot of products by them and so many things have not worked for I us, know. which is so frustrating. We want to love their products so much. We love the founders, mm -hmm. all of it. But one thing that has worked really well for us was the Naturium Marshmallow Root Barrier Balm. And we purchased this, they sent us some PR, but we yeah. got this when mm -hmm. it immediately came out. And this basically replaced the Crave um, Gray Barrier Relief for yeah. me. I feel like it kind of does the same thing and I like this formula more, which mm -hmm. I never thought I'd say because I loved that product for so long. But it is just like a really thick, occlusive balm, but it's not a balm in the sense of like this eye balm. Yeah, it kind of just feels like a heavy, heavy cream. Yeah, like a heavy, heavy cream, but when it's on your skin, it has, like after you rub it in, it leaves that balm feeling where yeah. it stays on your skin. It yeah. doesn't sink into the skin. And so this is great if you wanna like lock in moisture. If your skin is extra dry and dehydrated, that's when I use this. Yeah. And it does such a good job of repairing the barrier and calming the skin. Yeah, it's really good. My favorite Naturium product though, which I cannot live without, is the Naturium Purple Gin Ginseng Cleansing Balm. I've been through so many of these. I purchased multiple tubs and they've also kindly sent us some in PR. And I just will continue to use this. It's just as good as the Pharmacy Cleansing Balm. Mm -hmm. I think it works just as well. Um, I don't think I go through it too quickly. Like, I definitely go through it, but like more than you would, I think, a cleansing oil. But yeah. I think that's just the nature of cleansing bombs. It just works so well to get off makeup and it never leaves like a weird film. Um, I love it, I think it's so good. Okay, next up is the Bioma Hydrating Serum. I know we talked about this when they first came out. I think we tried a couple of them, right? I tried the Clarifying Serum and the Hydrating Serum. Yeah, um, and I have repurchased this several times. Mm -hmm. It is just really like, a milky serum texture actually pretty similar to this yeah it's like a milky serum it comes in a kind dropper. of like a little bit of a gel texture though too yeah which is kind of like what i feel like i feel mm -hmm. like they're pretty similar but it does just hide it says on the back hydrate and repair and i feel like that's exactly what it does yeah. like i'll use this kind of um sometimes if my skin is irritated i'll use this before going in with my retinol um which by the way we haven't included that in here but mm -hmm. prescription tretinoin yeah. is we definitely use that mm -hmm. like that's a staple as well but you have to get that from a dermatologist anyway um sometimes if my skin is irritated i'll put this on before my tretinoin and then i'll put moisturizer on after my tretinoin to kind of sandwich them together and it's like a really good first step in your skincare if you're putting actives on i've noticed it really does like repair and hydrate the skin yeah it works so well Okay, next up is such an old favorite, but I had to include it because I think I always forget to include it and then I'm regretful. It's the Bioderma Micellar Water. It's the sensitive skin one because this one doesn't have fragrance. And especially like I've been loving this new L'Oreal mascara, but I just feel like even when I cleanse with the Naturium Balm and go in with a second cleanser, because we use really gentle cleansers, mm -hmm. um, I just... I just always don't feel like my skin is fully, fully, fully clean. So I started reincorporating this back into my routine just like to get the perimeter of my face and my eye makeup. And it just takes off every last bit of makeup. And it doesn't make your, like I can just put, you know, wipe my face down and then like a second later go in with my nighttime routine. And it doesn't like leave a weird film. It doesn't make me break out. It just takes off your makeup and it gets you super clean without getting you really dry. Um, it's great for like swatches too if you have to get off mm -hmm. tough um, makeup swatches. It's just the best. And it's so funny because so many brands have like copied the original yeah. like formula and nothing is as good as this. It's just the best micellar water. Okay, I have two exfoliants that I wanna talk about. The first one is like my holy grail. This is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This is just the travel size. I've repurchased the travel size because I don't use this every night. I'll probably use it once a week um, just to kind of like slough off any dead skin. And this has just worked the best for me. I tried the Naturium one that was supposed to be kind of like a dupe for this. And that one worked really well. But over time, I felt like it was kind of irritating my skin. And this one for having 2% salicylic 
somehow is like gentle enough for my skin and never irritates my skin. So that's why I keep going back to it. It is truly the best chemical exfoliant I've tried. If you just have like blackheads or like closed comedones, I usually get them on my chin and then on my forehead. And using this like a couple times will just clear them right up. But again, in a gentle way, it's, it's truly so good. It lives up to the hype. And then the physical exfoliant that I've used for years that I never talk about is the Indeed Exfoliator 2. Years ago, I was looking for a dupe for the Dermalogica Microfoliant because I love that, but it's so expensive and I couldn't keep purchasing it. So I found this one on Ulta and it's fragrance free. It's made with rice bran extract, hyaluronic acid and pineapple enzymes. And I just wanted something like sometimes if you have dry patches, I feel like the chemical exfoliant won't immediately take them off. Whereas like the physical will, but I need a, a gentle physical exfoliant. So this is perfect. I've repurchased it a couple times. You just put a little bit in your palm, mix it with water and lather it on your skin, but it doesn't lather too much. So it really doesn't strip the skin. It just does a good job of like physically exfoliating the skin, but then leaving it still feeling hydrated. So I really love this. You can get it at Ulta. Okay, I have one ordinary product that has really stood the test of time. We we used to be so oh, that is so good. Yeah, we used to be so into their skincare, and I've since really not used any of it. But this is the best. It's the ordinary 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil, and it's just my go-to face oil. I repurchased it on and off for like since they launched, maybe like five years. And whenever I don't have it, I'm always regretful because if it's like nighttime and I feel like my skin just needs a little bit more moisture, I'll just layer it on top, final step in my routine. I've had days where I wake up and my skin feels so dry and I'm like, I need to put this on under makeup because it just like makes your skin glowy, but not too glowy. Like it's not too oily. Yes. It's just more like a dry oil. Yeah, it's just such a good texture. It's I feel like this could work for all skin types, like oily, dry, anything. Um, it doesn't clog my pores and it's just it's just so nice i even sometimes will like when my under eyes are really dry just like go in just on my under eyes and just really like drench that area i think um kelly ann does that oh, too really before she puts makeup on yeah and it just helps so much so i love this it's like six dollars maybe it's more expensive it's, more, it's like 10 i think oh they raised the mm -hmm. price yeah it's it's worth it though it's amazing okay we're almost done um something that i've repurchased several times is the young king Pune King Yule Moisture Ampule. It's 100 ml. You can get this for like $18 on Amazon. And I had been without this for months and then just realized that I like having this in my routine when my skin is extra parched. Like sometimes this, this is like a good everyday serum, mm -hmm. but sometimes when my skin is like, void of moisture this just really helps to add it back in it's basically like a really thick i know a lot of people like if you look at the reviews of this don't like the texture yeah it's like i really didn't like thick. it but yeah it's very thick um so you have to kind of be prepared for that it's like a thick hyaluronic acid serum essentially and so you put this on damp skin but the way i like to use it is more so mixing in with my moisturizer because i agree like when you put this on damp skin like under moisturizer, it can kind of feel like a thick layer. So the way I like to use it is mixing it in with my moisturizer, just like a drop or two, and then I'll put still put it on damp skin. And I do feel like it really helps to like plump up the skin and lock in the moisture so that, you know, you can go along the week without feeling like your skin is dehydrated. So I don't use this every day, but I do think that I will always like having one in my cabinet because of that reason. Like it just immediately makes my skin more moisturized. It is kind of like a miracle because I think there's only a few ingredients in here. And yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's six ingredients, but the main one is the, um, Japonica root extract. So I don't know, but it's really, really good if you have dehydrated skin. And one thing I also like to do with this is put it like under my eye, almost like a gel eye cream. And then I can put like Aquaphor or something on top of it to like make an occlusive barrier when my under eyes are like, again, really part. Sometimes I'll get eczema on my eyes. And if it goes down there, I find that this kind of helps to like soothe them. It doesn't cure my eczema obviously, but um, it'll just help to really hydrate that area. Okay, last but not least is a product from Cetaphil. This is the Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Face Liquid Sunscreen SPF 
50. Um, this is both of our favorites, I think, in the summertime. Yes. So it's a really thin formula, so it comes in a toddle. Um, so I won't show you because it'll pour out. But it's 12% zinc oxide, and it's just so lightweight. There is a little bit of a white cast at first, but it does dissipate. Mm -hmm. um, I love mixing this in with bronzing drops. I do that like every summer, just like a little bit with the bronzing drops and it just gives your skin like a really nice glow without being too glowy. Like the Vanna Cream is definitely more emollient. Yeah. So I like that more for winter and then this more for summer. Um, it's just a really good mineral SPF mm -hmm. and it's so affordable. Again, I think this is something that could work for like most people. I know and I feel like no one talks about it. Yeah. So we try to tell everyone about it because Everyone loves like the Elta MD and mm -hmm. we just have a hard time spending money on sunscreen because you go up the route so quickly. Yeah. And so the like, Elta MD is super expensive, but it's no. way more expensive than this. Yeah. And you still get 50 ml in this and then this one you get 71 grams. And so they both like last me longer because I don't know, they're just, they're for a drugstore sunscreen, like get one of these two. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching our updated skincare favorites. If you have any skincare that you think we should try, please leave it down below.